tells me to be really quiet. I be really quiet because I love my Well, hello out there, boys and girls. Good to see you. I hope you boys and girls have been getting better at your dribbling, right? Getting good at controlling the ball with your fingers and the pads of your hands. Remember, not your palms. Okay. We're going to keep moving right along, boys and girls. I'm going to get even better at dribbling. Coach has got a seven, yes, seven skill challenge involving ball handling and dribbling for you this week. Okay. And so try to follow along as best you can. Uh, make sure you give yourself plenty of space and room so you don't break anything or knock anything over. Okay. Some of these are going to be pretty hard. Some of these might be pretty easy for you, but regardless, all seven will make you a better dribbler and a better ball handler. And that boys and girls will help you be a better basketball player. Okay. You think you can get through all seven challenges? All right. I like that. Here we go.
so for this challenge, boys and girls, you're going to be dribbling the ball with your favorite hand while you're tossing and catching an item. And so it could be any item that you have around the house, but something small and something that you can catch easily, okay? Because this is kind of challenging. Okay, so it looks like this. And so that, boys and girls, is our seven skill dribble challenge for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's a challenge for you. Um, if it's too hard, always, you know, remember, don't get too stressed out, right? We're all getting better and we all have room to get better. And so, boys and girls, have a great Christmas break. Um, I look forward to working with you and having fun with you when we get back from the break. Um, just remember to find ways to stay active over the break, okay? And until next time, keep working, keep challenging yourselves, and above all, boys and girls, keep moving, all right? I'll see you next time, friends.